simplest form, I'm taking the question number 6, which is tan inverse 1 by root over x square minus 1. And the domain is mod of x greater than 1. Now you have to see uh, that x square minus 1, how it can be transformed. Here I have written down already, you can see that we know 1 plus 10 square theta equal to sec square theta. Now if we transpose this 1 to that side, then it will be sec square theta minus 1, this is equal to 10 square theta. Now this is, this one, sec square theta minus 1 is of this type, x square minus 1. So we can consider this sec theta as x, okay, you understood I think. So x we will take sec theta so that it becomes x square minus 1 and then sec square theta minus 1. So we will start like this, let x equal to sec theta. Then tan inverse root over it will be sec square theta minus 1 is equal to tan inverse. So as we have got sec square theta minus 1 is equal to tan square theta, so we can write here tan square theta. It will be equal to tan inverse root over tan square theta means tan theta so 1 by tan theta means cot theta again tan inverse this cot theta we can write like this as we know cot theta equal to tan of 90 minus theta uh, as we have to apply this the tan inverse of tan theta is equal to theta so in order to bring to this form as it is tan inverse so we have to write here tan theta if we write cot theta then we cannot solve it so we will take it like this, cot theta equal to tan of, tan of 90 minus theta, okay. Then we can use this one, tan inverse of tan theta equal to theta, tan inverse of tan this is equal to 90 minus theta, equal to as theta equal to sec inverse of x. So in place of theta we can write sec inverse of x. It is then in have to recall uh, the identities which is 1 minus cos x. 1 minus cos x is 2 sin square x by 2 and 1 plus cos x is equal to 2 cos square x by 2. Already I have written down these two in order to sort my behavior. Okay, so we will write 1 minus cos x as 2 sin square x by 2 and this is 2 cos square x by 2. Okay, then inverse. This will be 2 to cancel, then sin square by cos square is 10 square x by 2. Sorry, I have forgotten to put the square root sign. So it is like this. 10 inverse, then it will be 10 x by 2, and as you know, it will be equal to x by 2. So this is the simplest form. Question number 7, no, it is a, a question number 8, 10 inverse of this. Okay, so I have already written down this one. Tan inverse, we can divide both numerator and denominator by cos x. So if we divide the, this part, then we will get it as 1 minus sin x by cos x is 10x. And this part 1 plus 10x is equal to 10 inverse. 1 as we know, 10 pi by 4 is equal to 1. So in place of 1, you can write 10 pi by 4. Pi by 4 means 45 degree. 10 pi by 4 minus 10 x by 1 plus 1 into 10 x you can write 1 into 10 x. Then you can 10 inverse 10 pi by 4 minus 10 x 1 plus again in place of 1 we will write 10 pi by 4 into 10 x then into 10 a plus b that is pi by 4 so sorry 10 a minus b it is 10 a minus b 10 a minus b means 10 a minus 10 b by 1 plus 10 a 10 b so 10 inverse and 10 is there so we can write Pi by 4 minus 6. Okay. This is the simplest part. Question number 9. I said this uh, homework for you. Uh, 
and this is tan inverse of x by root over a square minus x square. I am giving here the hint for you so that you can do it yourself. You see, uh, it is a square minus x square, so we can think it for 1 minus x square. Okay? So if it is 1 minus x square, then it is of this type 1 minus sin square theta. 1 minus x square and 1 minus sin square theta. As you know, 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta. So for x, we will suppose sin theta. Or we can suppose x equal to cos theta also then 1 minus cos square theta equal to sin square theta. It can be uh, either uh, sin theta or cos theta for x. So uh, suppose we have suppose let x equal to, x equal to sin theta. Then you see it is not 1 minus x square but it is a square minus x square. So what we have to do, we have to suppose x equal to a sin theta, not on the sin theta, okay? If it is 1, then only x sin theta. If it is a, then a sin theta. If it is b, then b sin theta like that, okay? So, uh, we can write it now as a square, this part, a square minus x square, equal to a square minus a square sin square theta, a square we can take common, then 1 minus sin square theta, and a square into this part is equal to cos square theta. Then we put here, and you will get the desired result, okay? Next. We will come to the question number 10, homework, okay? This is the inverse of this part. Now, you have to recall one uh, identity that you bought in class 11. This is 10 3 theta equal to 3 10 theta minus 10 cube theta by 1 minus 3 10 square theta. This one we have to apply. You can see this part is almost similar to this part, okay? So, if we take this x as 10 theta, then we will get the result but there is a so we have to suppose it as x equal to a tan theta okay again i am repeating that if it is b square x then you have to take it uh, take it as b tan theta if it is c square x then you have to take it as c tan theta okay so it is a so we have to take a tan theta and then you put in this part for x and then plus it you will get the result okay find the values okay the question number 11 which is tan inverse of 2 cos 2 sin inverse of half. As already I have told you that this sin inverse or cos inverse or tan inverse it represents an angle. Okay. Now you can see here sin 30 as we know it is equal to half. That means 30 equal to sin inverse of half. So sin inverse of half we can write as 30. 30 means what? If we convert it to the radian form then it will be pi by 6. So sin inverse of half we can write pi by 6. 10 inverse 2 cos this part 2 into pi by 6 is equal to 10 inverse 10 inverse 2 into pi by 3 pi by 3 means 60 cos 60 is equal to half you want to know it 10 inverse 2 and 2 will be cancelled so it is equal to 1 and 10 inverse 1 this is an angle you can remember the 10 45 degrees that means pi by 4 is equal to 1 so 10 inverse of 1 is equal to pi by 4 so it is pi by 4 so this is the value for this expression okay next is the question number 12 cot of 10 inverse a plus cot inverse a you have to recall the property that 10 inverse of x plus cot inverse of x equal to pi by 2. The same in terms of x it is a a so this part will be equal to what pi by 2. So we can write cot pi by 2. Cot 90 was this what? Can you remember? This is 40. Okay? This is answer. Uh, 10 inverse of 10 half of this part. Okay? So we have to concentrate this part. The bracket part. We have to recall the property that 2 10 inverse n plus the same we can apply this to it is 10 half sin inverse of this part equal to 2 10 inverse x and then since it is in y so we cannot write it as x so we have to write it in y 2 10 inverse of y then 10 half you can take common 2 so within bracket it will be 10 inverse of x plus 10 inverse of y. So 10 and 10 inverse is there. So only this part will remain x plus y by 1 minus x y. So this is the value for this function. Okay.
If sine of this part is equal to 1, then find a value of x. Then to us, find this line that it will be sine inverse of 1. Implies sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse of x. Sine inverse of 1, as we know, sine 90 is equal to 1. So, sine inverse of 1 equal to 90. 90 degree equal to 1. So, it is 90. Now, we can suppose this part, that part, cos inverse x equal to 90 minus sin inverse 1 by 5. You can recall this property that sin inverse of x plus cos inverse of x equal to pi by 2 sin inverse of x. So, pi by 2 minus sin inverse of x can be written as cos inverse of x. So, this part can be written as cos inverse of x means here pi by 1 by 5. So, 1 by so, comparing both sides, x equal to 1 by 5. This is the required value for x. Question number 15. If 10 inverse of this plus 10 inverse of this equal to pi by 4, then find the value of x. Given it is written down already. Now, we can think it as x. This whole part is x and the whole part is y. So, it will be 10 inverse of x plus 10 inverse of y. Okay, so 10 inverse of x plus 10 inverse of y, as we know, it is 10 inverse of x plus y, that means x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus, plus 1 by x plus 2, okay, equal to pi by 4, implies 10 inverse, If we take LCM, it will be x minus 2 into x plus 2. Here also x minus 2 into x plus 4 can be cancelled down. So it will be x minus 1 into 1 equal to 5 by 4. Implies 10 inverse. If we multiply, then it's equal to 5 by 4. Implies 10 inverse. x square minus 4, we can uh, open it, minus x square plus 1, then it will be pi by 4. This 10 inverse can be written inside, so it will be 10 pi 2, uh, I can cancel, minus 4 plus 1 means minus 3. Okay, if we have 10 minus, it implies plus 2 implies x square equal to 2 then minus 3 plus 4 therefore x equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 ok this is the answer uh, we have seen x equal to 1 plus minus 1 by root 2 now our duty is to verify whether this function that means for x equal to both plus and minus 1 by root 2 this expression is equal to pi by 4 or not that means it is correct or not ok so our duty is to once we have to check for 1 by root 2 by putting here on the left hand side again x equal to minus 1 by root 2 in this left hand side for both the cases we have to check whether it comes pi by 4 or not. For which value of x, the results gives us pi by 4, that is the actual value for x. If both are correct, then both the answers are 2 for this question. Okay, that's all. Question from the miscellaneous chapter. Prove that 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 is equal to 10 inverse of 24 by 7. Now you can see that no, there is no such property 2 sin inverse of x there is no such property but there is one property 2 tan inverse of x which is equal to tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square is that it so our duty is to convert this sin inverse x to tan inverse x so how can you convert this sin inverse x to tan inverse x let's see okay we will suppose that uh, sin inverse of 3 by 5 
is equal to x. Then we can write 3 by 5 equal to sin x. Or we can write sin x equal to 3 by 5. Now if you draw a right angle triangle here, in the exam don't write, don't draw this diagram here by, you can draw it in the side, okay. So as we know sin is p by h, so here p represents 3, okay, and h represents 5, actually 3k, 5k like this, then uh, by using the Pythagoras theorem, we will be able to know the base, which, is, which will be equal to 4k, is that it? So, tan x will be what? Tan x, it is p by b. So, tan x equal to 3 by 4, therefore x equal to 10 inverse of 3 by 4. Thus, you have seen that x is equal to sin inverse of 3 by 5. Again, that x is equal to 10 inverse of 3 by 4. That means we have converted this sin inverse of 3 by 5 to 10 inverse of 3 by 4. Therefore, we can write sin inverse of 3 by 5 is equal to 10 inverse of 3 by 4. Okay? Then, we can take the left hand side and I check 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 is equal to 2 sin inverse of 3 by 5 just now we got as 10 inverse of 3 by 4. Now <coughs> applying this property 2 10 inverse x is this. So we get 10 inverse of 3 by 4. 2 2 and 16 can be cancelled, so it will go 8 times 10 inverse. You can see this is the right hand part. So it is equal to right hand side. Thus, we can prove it. We did not get any such type of property sine inverse of x plus sine inverse of y. Okay, although there is in other book, you may get it. Okay, but in our textbook, it is not given to us. I see. This left hand part and right hand part. Right hand part we have 10 inverse plus 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse of y will give us 10 inverse of this part. Okay. So if we can convert this sine inverse and sine inverse to 10 inverse to 10 inverse, then this part will come in 10 inverse. That is the trick. Okay. So uh, we will convert this to 10 inverse. Two right angle triangles, one for this and other for this. Okay. Here. You can see p by 8, 8 by 17, this is 8, this is 17, and here 3 by 5, so 3 by 5 means perpendicular is 3 and hypotenuse is 5. As we know, 3, 5, it will come 4, but we have to calculate it. How it can be calculated? 17 squared minus 8 squared plus how much? 15. So it will be 15. So we can convert it as a 10 inverse. P by B, so 8 by 15 plus this is 10 inverse, 3 by 5, so it is uh, 10 inverse means P by B, so 3 by 4, 3 by 4. I apply 10 inverse of X plus 10 inverse of Y, 10 inverse of X plus Y, 8 by 15, 10 inverse plus 45, it is 60 minus 24. It gives us 36, 77 by 36, which is the right hand side. This one. Okay. 6 is this. Question number 7 is this. Okay. From this thing, you can uh, solve all the three questions. Moreover, what I have done in my previous video, uh, previous questions that you can apply. You can pause and you can uh, see properly what is written down here as a hint. And then you try to solve it, okay?